need to do is the ATs or yourselves will need to prepare their printed paper, ready for them to cut, staple, and assemble the flower. You should have also already painted or got the students to paint their little paper plates, which is the center of the flower. Okay, it doesn't have to be yellow, you could make it pink or blue or whatever colors. It'd be nice if the students had different colors. Again, it's your choice, doesn't matter. So that's there, that's ready for them today. And when you're making your petals, okay, you can see how I've started to do this. I'm going to show you the students are going to make this themselves. Okay? To prepare for the lesson, you need to take each student's print. This is a little bit of work. I've just made a round template of cardboard so that I can have the same shape to make the cutting shapes for the students. So you're going to go onto each child's print with the marker and go around the cardboard template that you've cut. And you're doing two of those per page. So with three of their pages, you should have six petals. Okay? You might use five petals, you might use all six, depending on the size of your petals. Okay? But the students can cut and prepare them all. So we're going to go around. You're going to do that on each of the child's three pages. You can see I've also got these lines here. You also need to just carefully draw them onto the students' templates. So you're drawing on their painting, that's fine. It's just going to save a lot of time, a lot of energy. So you can see how that's looking now. That's what needs the students need to have done for them before their lesson. Okay? Or make lots of templates and the students can draw this themselves depending on the time you have. Okay? Once that's done, the students are going to need class sets of not only their work, but scissors and staples, okay? I have no problem supervising, making sure the students are using these correctly. A lot of them find it difficult to push, but it's um, it's important skill for them to start learning with, with uh, correct safety instruction. So you can either come and borrow mine, or you might have a set downstairs. So the students are first going to cut out each petal. Then you're going to cut along the guidelines you've given them to where they're going to staple. Okay, just along the line, not too far in, so that they start to have these little cutouts. Okay, this is where we start to assemble the flower. You have to demonstrate this to them. So they need to put each side over, and using the staples, they then carefully need to staple both of those pieces together, back it up, and they're going to do that around the whole flower. And you have your petal. So once all those petals are done, we're stapling it to the pollen, maybe two staples, one on each side. So here's the finished product. You can see that we have five petals. Uh, it was a little bit fiddlier uh, than I expected, but I just really made sure I got in there. I think the best policy is getting the kids to put the stapler down and pushing this way. Um, coming in between the flowers was quite tricky. Uh, perhaps you want to go around and help them with a longer stapler. They're a little bit small. So you can have a look at the finished product. Uh, a really good thing to do, maybe you can see that they're kind of splitting. Um, you can go around on the inside later and just maybe staple some of the petals together. This will just hold it better, making them really start to stand out. Let's see if this works. So just little finishing touches ready for display. You have it, our 3D printed flowers. Have fun!